G'day YouTubers, I'm Alan, welcome to my first uh, solo PV uh, come inverter blog. Uh, this is, the aim of this uh, video is to give you a short introduction into my uh, solar system, why I set it up and um, just a few, try and demystify a few questions. I spoke to many many people about different configurations, very confusing even though I work in the industry uh, from an industrial electronics background, every bit of information you get seems to have contradiction and I decided to bite the bullet and go for the most affordable um, system. Uh, basically I have uh, tried to get as much off the grid as possible uh, in a single dwelling. <coughs> I've gone for a Taiwanese inverter. I started off with the 3K, this is a 5 kVA. Uh, you do need a little bit of extra capacity to cope with surge loads like pool pumps etc. And I've gone for a battery pack, uh, eight batteries, 102 milliamp hours, uh, milliamp hours each, uh, about 800. And um, I've wired it in with the help of a Sparky into the existing DB board, really simple installation, split the board into two, one grid, one off grid. Uh, we run prepay here in South Africa. Uh, we have an additional complication um, for those that are not aware that we have load shedding, which basically means the utility company cannot provide enough power and they shut it off for two hours every other couple of days, meaning that you might be out of power for a few hours and having a system like this allows you to have a seamless uh, lifestyle. Also, the price of electricity continues to go up. It's gone up 100%, now another 25%. So the payback on these things becomes better and better. Uh, the four panels on the roof, uh, 280 watts each, about one kilovolt. Um, it's trying to find a balance of price and return on investment. Not quite enough capacity. I will upgrade them to a slightly uh, bigger set of panels, but at this point, um, about three quarters of the way through the installation, as you can see, still some cables hanging out here. Um, I've fitted a DB uh, subboard just to cope with isolation. My Sparky wired in the stuff that uh, not too bothered about compliancy. Uh, what I do recommend is when you start off, buy yourself one of these consumer meters. This one is Effigy. Uh, plug it into the DB board, monitor your consumption for a couple of months before you start. You really got to get a good idea of um, how much power you really need and what you can afford to do without. I have an existing solar water uh, installation, so I don't need to worry too much about that. However, I use the grid to top up anything that I need over and above on cold winter's days. Um, I have a gas cooker, and basically uh, the only things that I can't uh, Justify, which would mean a much bigger installation of things like uh, electric stove, um, cooker, uh, and topping up the hot water. The rest is pretty much uh, self-sufficient. Pros and cons with these different um, items, it gets very, very technical. Um, I just have found that this basic approach works. My objective was get the cheapest kit, throw it away if you have to after five years, get the payback within five years if you can, uh, and quite frankly, panels and things like that, even if they degrade, will still give you an output over a 10-year period. My panels had a 10-year warranty. Whether the company that make them will ever be around in 10 years, who knows. Uh, but I aim to get this whole lot, um, from a capital outlay point of view, covered within three to five years. Quite ambitious, but I think I can do it. Um, it's winter time at the moment, so I'm currently getting uh, about uh, 700 odd watts, um, well, up to 700 maybe 500, um, which is enough to charge my batteries during the day, quite low power consumption at night, and it's able to get me through the first phase. Um, I have an understall, uh, underfloor, um, under staircase uh, place where I've put my batteries, nice, cool, dry in summer, and um, two of my batteries already are suspect, so I've returned them to manufacture. So I basically have a bank of eight, um, and if you have a squiz over here, you can see where I've installed them and that uh, has worked pretty well. So I'll give you a quick um, look up on the roof. You can see how my panels have been installed. Not the greatest installation. I uh, haven't gone for high compliancy, really gone for quick and uh, easy and um, keep it all simple and you can always upgrade it, you can always uh, improve on it but at least it's up working and I'm pretty happy with this little combo unit. Um, this first unit had uh, Comsport, real pain in the arse, you have to get an old Dell machine fired up to try and get a um, uh, RS-232 port. New ones comes with USB, 
Um, it's a shame they don't seem to have buffering in here, so they can't come back at the end of the day and pull stats. You have to have a machine on all the time, which uh, in a green kind of philosophy is not the best thing. But it's coped quite well. I'm a little bit concerned about its uh, quiescent current uh, or drain current at night. Um, the disadvantage that you might not realize with having an inverter is because it's not completely efficient, especially down the low end of the power um, consumption, is that you have quite a big overhead in running it. I would like to actually turn it off at night and I don't need any power and save those three, four hundred watts that I'm drawing at night. Um, however, I'll cover that, or uh, we'll try and cover that in another video. There are plenty of uh, posts on this kind of technology. I see there's some Aussie uh, counterparts that have had good success with these. There were some initial concerns about reliability, but I think most of those have been addressed. If you've got a good local um, supplier with spares and technical support, you should be okay, and quite frankly. Uh, technology carries on improving. We're not making a lifetime purchase here, so uh, anything that uh, actually gets you up and working. Relatively straightforward to set up. Software's okay. Uh, the worst thing that I've discovered with this is the battery monitoring. Not good. Um, seems to recover. You put the power back on, it recovers from 80% to 90% in a few minutes, and then takes uh, you know 20 minutes or so to 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 come back. When I measure the actual voltage on the battery. Um, it ties in, but it's not a brilliant reflection. I would want to improve that. So, the next couple of videos will show you some progress. I think I'll increase my panel capacity slightly. Be aware that the smaller units only have 1500 watt capability, so you're a bit restricted there from a growth point of view. Um, otherwise, uh, I'm happy with the choice. There are my solar panels. Four. 280 watts. Zero.